Okay, guys. Here is the finished quilt, all ironed for my queen size bed. Okay? You can see where the double Irish chain comes in along here and over here. And you can see the top where the border is, and here's the binding. Okay? And here's your back. Really pretty pink. Okay? But this is what it looks like when it's done. This is a queen. Okay, now, next week, we're going to do the log cabin. This is one block of the log cabin. Okay, see how you start in the middle here and then you add, um, I use the, the uh, jelly roll, which is two and a half inches. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know what a jelly roll is. So, let me get one and show you. <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> okay. This is a jelly roll. Okay, you have 42, or this one has 40 pieces, they're 43 inches, 44, and they're 2.5 inches, okay? This is perfect for doing the log cabin. Okay, this is a very color, I actually bought this to do a jelly roll, um, quilt, or rug. Okay, so, um, I don't remember where I got this. Probably Amazon, or... Missouri Star or somewhere like that. But anyway, you can do it with your material too if you want to cut two and a half inch strips. Okay, per block you need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve strips. Okay. And I also There's the block, and I also did a, uh, um, hold on. I'm not sure which one I put it in. I drew a picture of the log cabin block so that I knew what I was going to do. Okay. Here it is. Okay. See how good you can see that? But this is how it is. You start with your, your uh, center. Okay, right here, and you got B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7, B8, okay? And then your D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7, D8, okay? And it all makes sense when you draw it over here. Okay, C stands for center. D1 goes here, okay? It tells you in the book how to do that. But that's how each of your locks are going to look. They kind of want the B to be sort of kind of dark and then that G to be kind of light if you can. But it's, it's, it's okay. Whatever you want to do. Okay. This is the layout for the log cabin. We'll go over it again next week. Okay. I can't wait to see your guys' quilts. I'm really looking forward to it, so please post them so I can see them, and congratulations on getting your first quilt done. Good job, guys. See you next week, okay? Have a good Labor Day. All right, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share with all your friends for me, please, and don't forget to ring the little bell when you're
get a notification. All right, guys, have a great week. I'll see you next weekend. Bye.